it's going to be a lot of, I think, Scar going to Foxy here. I think so. Jackie says, as kids, you were scared of me. You'd randomly attack us with arm bars. And you learned to always be ready. Round one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First round, Foxy, Grandpa versus Scar. And this is exactly the matchup that I was talking about. Scar gonna get on the offensive, I think, in this matchup because of that low shot of Cassie Cage that's gonna go underneath the ring of Sonya. Does need to be careful of the crushing blow, Woo! but only gets it once per match. Yeah, he's got to because she typically would have strong rings, strong projectile games, Sonya. But in this matchup, as you already see, it's not so the case. Oh my god, jumping over, not quite a conversion. And out of there, Foxy Grandpa wants none of that. Gets the spacing and one of the best anti airs in the game in the back three. Instead, Scar get catching the combo. No breakaway for Fox and Grandpa. He every bit of his okay. damage. Goes for the restand instead. Confirm there. Not bothering to break. Going to the restand himself and swinging oh. with, with that 1-1. One, one. Gonna close things out. No breakaway from Scar. He's gonna feel confident on the second round, not coming off the defensive bar, wanting to save it. Exactly, yeah, that was the decision. He might have died anyway from, um, from an uppercut. Didn't come up. Foxy looked great right there. That's exactly the game plan he wants. He wants the zoning him. Okay, maybe he wants pressure too. That comes off of it. Taking the throw. These, you're going to see a lot of tech throws in this top eight. The best in the world are breaking a mix up. That is a throw. Are these Mortal Kombat players? And the full screen we go. Trying to call in the drone. Coming in hot. Not spaced out perfectly though by Scar. He's got to find his way in on these little shots of Cassie. Oh, and the aerial it's approach. one of the best anti airs right there. Amazing button. That's the Cassie game plan. Make, make you come to her and always have an answer whether it's on the ground or whether it's through the air and a foxy grandpa strikes first it's already over that first game i blinked Fox grandpa, Fox grandpa looks absolutely unperturbed everything went well for him right there the neutral game the zoning the pressure worked out very well too the little mix-ups in there to the extent that he needed them they were all good that was such a blow up i wonder if he's gonna stick with sonya he's clearly pontificating He's definitely thinking about making the possible switch to Scorpion that is his backup, especially against characters that he finds is a struggle to get in on. You know, uh -oh. has these annoying projectiles, but he's going to bet it all on Mama Blade right here in game number two. Yeah, I think this is the better call. It's just that his game plan didn't quite work out. Fox is one of the best at dealing with it. Listen, Sonya only needs to make one to two good reads on the way in to really... <laughs> we saw that in the first <laughs> round. Take away a health bar, but yeah. I mean... It, 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 it's, oh, it's, it's a chance! It, here we go. Will there be a break? Okay, finally it comes. Probably intending to try to find something there, but no. What a pull! Oh my he backed off just in time! Restand the again, restand goes with the 1-1, one, one, and that's the second time, and that kind of covers, yeah. uh, it, it almost OS's them, uh, try to take the throw as well, getting that 1-1 one, one up, they crouch that, and then they have an active mid coming really quick. Totally wow, fox the grandpa right here, completely in control. Round two, fight. Oh my goodness, this has been, I mean, Coming into this, I said it was going to be a scar going to Foxy. Yeah, that's what and, he wants. And, and even if that is the only way to get, if that's the only way to play the matchup, he is punishing you for it. Jumping at him, back three. He coming in grounded. Look at these advancing meds that are stopping me. Oh. Saving it. Saving the breakaway. Again! No breakaway again from on? Scar. Scar. I mean, He's his, in big trouble. His life is dwindling. You needed to come up that breakaway. Now you put yourself oh, on. No. Like, oh, no. He's goodness. keeping it unbreakable right there. Fox and Grandpa still pressuring. Oh, he didn't meet her for the safety. He did have the bar, and now he's sitting with no breakaway. And oh, Sonya, what a disrespect. Are you kidding me? What a read from Fox and Grandpa. Championship caliber decision making right now. Here from the UK and looking so strong to start out the top eight, threatening to make his way into winner's finals just like that. What is Scar gonna do? It doesn't look like Sonya is quite gonna cut it. If he goes to Scorpion, takes away the zoning, and he can't get in okay. Sonya's face much easier with the teleport cancel. He can at least close the gap. That's the idea, but like I said, I talked with Fox Grandpa before the start. He thought that if there is a Scorpion, that this is gonna be even easier than if it was the Sonya. He felt very confident at dealing with the teleport or the teleport cancel. We'll see how things unfold right now. Scar, a different caliber Scorpion than... <laughs> A lot of people might be used to going back to the character select. I wonder if Scar might be thinking differently. We'll see. <clears throat> Scorpion. Scorpion. Cassie Cage. I see where we're going. Okay, we're oh, going to the Here we stage. go. Combo breaker about to be in the background as well. 2-0, Foxy Grandpa. What can Scar do right now? This has been four straight rounds of utter dominance, Ultra yeah, David. Yeah, blow up so far, to be honest. Is I didn't Scar think it would go like that, but now he switched things up. It's the new character. 
Okay, it's not quite there. This is what he wants, though. He wants that mobility to get around her zoning. He wants to be able to get in. He wants to enforce some of his mix-ups. But he can also play this lame game. He's not zoning. He's not dealing damage. But he's playing a, a lame game. And like I said, Foxy, part of why he felt so confident is that when it comes to playing lame, is there anybody better than Foxy Grandpa at that? I mean, this is this has been his play style going back generations uh -oh. of Mortal Kombat, of Injustice. He loves to play nice and slow. He loves to frustrate you. And this is going to be a change-up from Scar as Scorpion does not care what your game plan is. No. He's going to execute the one of his own. He's got his own. Yeah, he's absolutely right. There is no stopping Scorpion from play, from doing what Scorpion wants to do here. you got the teleport. The teleport cancels. You've got the full screen spear. Mm -hmm. Not going to go punished, but the low gunshot is going to be the check here for Foxy. And by the way, great strings if he needs them. Great crushing blows if he needs them. Phenomenal stagger games Scorpion yeah. have. Not really mix-up heavy, but stagger heavy. That could open you up with the crushing blows. For the sure. throw always a threat. Out and just okay. like that, almost unreactable teleport. Oh, here we go! And that was a he was looking for a break. Nothing came. Did not want to commit to Spear. Foxy now needs to try to go. Oh, there's Spear after all. Did have the bar. Didn't come off. Oh, it's though. a punish. Yes, of course. Wow. wow. Wake up up three by Scar. Completely invincible. Of the two wake up options that are attacks, and Scar is on the board. This, this looks better. The switch to Scorpion again, just changing up the pace of the match that Foxy already set the tone for. Oh, trying to punish too early. And we're definitely all susceptible to that right there. What's the guess going to hey, be? Man, Amplified man. or not? And not even broken away, just fell out of the combo right there. It's not a situation where you need to guess. You can OS between the two, and Foxy was telling you that he knows he can do it. He felt confident at that, like I said. I am loving that I'm seeing short hops late in this bracket just to try to bait movement, just like we see Flip Stance utilized in Mortal Kombat yeah. games and other things. It's all about trying to bait movement. That short hop also gonna go over uh, low shot. I think Scar's trying to play some kind of crazy game right now. Here's a chance on the whip punish. There's no breakaway available. It's dealing the damage. What's for breakfast here? Oh, swinging okay. with the high and Foxy Grandpa, the best in the world at purposefully neutral ducking. PND Grandpa. Trying to make something happen, a little bit of stagger, no answer air. And it's a slam. Those little bits of damage one at a time. Oh my goodness, looking for the RKO with the overhead, not having it. He'd love it. to confirm it's it is fatal blow. That's what he's looking for. And with the down two, no crushing blow though. Okay. And just swing it, and Foxy Grandpa moves to match point. So Scar is looking better, but it may not be enough. Stan Lamb on the other side of the screen. What an mm. anti-air! Full screen anti-air gunshot. You know Foxy is just smiling right there. I mean, it's kind of a risk to take to it. Any moment that could happen. He so, could be in your face. So right there, he's looking to try to bait out Foxy going for the anti-air. And that's what the teleport does. With almost any teleport character, we're going to see Seth John here in a little bit. That's right. Same exact mind game. Smart stuff out of both of these players. Foxy not taking the bait. And I think Scar maybe even caught that and walking into a whip punish from Foxy Grandpa with the reset. What's going to be the mix? Try to disrespect the star. Still gets the anti-air. Again, the whip punish comes. Foxy Grandpa's looking perfect right now. Now, there's no more breakaway meter if he gets caught. He's in big trouble. Escape failed. You know that's the danger words right there against Scorp. Other characters with crushing blows on their throws. Scorpion, one of the few that his crushing blow throw does do damage over time, mm. and, it, and it could just put you in a pressure situation that is crouchable at the end, but you never know if the up kick is going to come as the mid, and that's the mix up of Cascade's pressure and just swinging afterwards. No pickup. The up three. What's going to use this hit stun? Not the butt block so far. And that's all the meter, though. Here we go. There is breakaway. Yes, it comes. Oh, oh yeah, you need to check that. He uh, did. That would have been. It could have been a big crushing blood, depending on the direction. Oh, oh he my was hoping goodness. to see a button. Look at the time. 12 seconds. No pickup off that. Is this gonna be a confirmed? No breakaway. Out of Foxy. Is it gonna be enough? How do you change Six Scorpion seconds, down? Five, Can you change Scorpion four. down? He went in and wasn't punished. Is it enough? One yeah. second and score with few seconds remaining. Taking game number three. We got ourselves a match. The unflappable Scar. Look at his face. It's as if nothing happened, and they're back in. Oh, oh my goodness. Ready. Scar with the knockdown and stand away. That's the threat. Sometimes you do have to bring it out to make sure the opponent recognizes there is a threat. Exactly. Now he's, he's been caught here every single time. Finally, he was patient, and the grab comes. The stagger, little tech from Scar here, trying to make this approach. 
Look at this mobility. Walking in and then walking into the range of a normal, backdashing out of it, looking for the whiff punish. That's what all these little micro movements are. And that has been nothing but a mind game between both of these players that teleport or teleport cancel Ooh. from Scar here. Here's gonna punish. be a punish. Okay, I got some damage there with that uppercut. Now, when you see these characters do a breakaway, when they fall out of the combos, they are armored, uh -oh. and you want to get the maximum amount of damage in the armor as possible, that's what that down two is for. Look at that damage. And then bleeding right now is Foxy, bleeding and the same one's gonna do it. That was all you needed. Your guts are pouring out, that was enough. Round two, fight. Lovely. It'll be a restand, all right. What's the mix up right here? And he has done okay. that three or four times. Scar finally making a pay for that. Same Tried to follow up, it wasn't quite there. Same don't throw a high at me either. And what's the mind game gonna be? Nice patient for both players. Scar is all about playing oh. that playing that poke poke strike uh, game in his pressure with Scorpion. We saw it all throughout the tournament when he mm -hmm. does go to the scared. Oh no! Oh with the whiff! Nah, no punish. Big opportunity. A big opportunity there as well. And there! Oh, a little scrambly. Could have come off the bar, and there was no breakaway for oh, Foxy. The and, oh, my gosh. Oh, the no, that's instant a spot. kill. Oh, goodness. The instant kill. Brutal. We saw it in top 16. We see it in top 8 right here. I don't care if you have life to survive. There was nothing survive, you could do about that. You are done. If you have less life than the throw deals in damage, you are out of there. That is no an tech available. Hot toe brutality right there. So smart and possibly calculated there by Scar. Yeah, absolutely. When you only have one game left. Okay, that's right. It's not just a tournament stage, folks. Give it up. We are not just watching here at Combo Breaker 2019. We are playing on Combo Breaker stage. Let's go. First blood going to Scar here with the teleport to throw. It's just a raw spear. Get over here. What a start from Scar. That rest did not seem to put him off his game at all. He's right back to doing what he wants to do. Foxy trying to chase, but what does it mean to chase a Scorpion to the corner? He can reverse the position just like that. And you saw how many times he teleported, canceled into a down three. This time actually going for the full strength, looking to catch Foxy, Ooh. pressing buttons. Okay, that wasn't a lot of damage, but I'm impressed with the keep up. I like it. Wow, wake up throw, Scar recognizing the whiff of the entire string. In recovery was Cassie there. Back to full screen we go. And this is a full screen footsie game that we got. Teleport, no teleport, gunshot, spear. What's it gonna be? That little gnat just fluttering on the left side of the stage right there. At any time he can be back in your face. There he is! Oh, and no punish! Oh my goodness, and Foxy Grandpa, one of the best at punishing those. Uh, and he just, okay. it'd be a raw fatal blow! Is it gonna be enough? You better be looking for those shields. Yep, I'm seeing the shields and I'm seeing the skulls. They're both there. The battle. It's 20 not health enough. remaining. Ooh, he was just patient. Didn't want to take any risks at all. He's away. Oh my goodness. And that was Are a counter you hit. kidding me? That was a counter hit. He tried to punish too early. That's match point, just like that for Scar, who's won two and a half games in a row. After four straight rounds losing. And a change of a character. This is. <laughs> This is what it's all about. Uh-oh. Full screen, get over here into the corner. Good position. Try to Oki with the throw. Beautiful wake up jump by Foxy. That is a phenomenal read. The first position. And he's got the corner control. And oh, there you go. He knew where he was. It wasn't much damage though. There wasn't a breakaway. No hit confirmed by Foxy. Off the end of the corner. And now Scar. Scar harassing. Oh my goodness, short comes. hump in the pressure. UOH, the leap attack. There's the take from out of Foxy. First position is absolutely not. Just kept people restanding with the check. And oh, he's gonna get he's in trouble by oh, the God. drop. He's still in big time trouble here. 100 oh, he damage. Is Scar gonna be able to pull us off? Do, are we going the distance from Foxy? Only 100 health is gonna tell. No breakaway from Foxy. Any hit out is gonna be it. And it's gonna be Scar. Three to two. So here we go. Tweety acting for no headphones. Here we go. Second match, winner's side top eight. It's Tweety versus Samij. Let's get into it here. Look at patient is Tweety trying oh, to come in. Nice. With that extended jumping, Katana has one of the best down threes at anti-airing. One of those tools that I talked about that Samij looks for in a character, and he's going to enforce that throughout this match. Wow, the knockdown comes, and as you can see, it's really an intended approach here. Oh, the giant oh. button jumped down one in the sky. It's huge. Needed to get out. That would have been so much damage. Speaking the of. The tech turns into down three. That's fine. 
Speaking of giant normals, Marauder Baraka giving them that extended jump one range. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. Looking for those big reads. Easy hit confirms and the massive damage with that gun. Oh, no. with the throw. Escape uh -oh. failed. Uh -oh. A throw either direction is going to be a crushing blow now. You're in trouble. Looking for the flutter cancel. Trying to bait Tweety into pressing a button, thinking that he was going to have some frames on the ground that were negative. Wow. Four and his way out. Not only is there a great footsie tool, it's a great mobility tool as well. Absolutely right. Yeah, it can even be plus on block. He tried to get something there. It didn't work. So Mage is going to get a punish. Oh, he's trying to stay alive in this round. No. And so he came off the two defensive bars for nothing. Very aggressive is Samiz right there. And, you know, even Tweety talks about he's a very aggressive player, likes to be in your face, likes to be making you guess in his pressure. And what's something that you're, that you're gonna look for right now are those jump kicks going against the down three of Katana. So far, about 50 50. Because Baraka players aren't necessarily used to getting anti here. <laughs> you're right, yeah. And Samiz is gonna be the one to do it. He has some extremely strong buttons. Wow, neutral jump! Yeah, you can really tell these guys play all the time. Some of the tendencies have been read very well by either side. Yeah, there aren't many that have the stones to do a dash up into someone's face and just neutral mm -hmm. jump. And he jumped, looking for a whiff of the throw attack. Getting it down three, no chop chop. Oh, punish. oh no! To the, into corner. the corner, here we yep. go. And Katana not known for damage, but in the corner. Going above, I believe it is 11 hits, right hits, not too sure. We'll get a crushing blow, get some massive damage. This is gonna be chip out with a chop chop. He punished it! His face. Are you kidding me? Not easy to do, of course he can continue chop chop. Wow! Okay, a little down three comes. Fast tool. I'm almost shocked that Samish didn't simply hit confirm into a fan lift and go for the fatal blow in that in that situation. Maybe, maybe a miscalculation, who knows? So oh, this could be huge. You need to get out of there, Samish. He does. But already good damage taken. Whoa. That would have been a bad day in the office of that fan. Did not trade to the corner. We go to the air escape. Trying to savagely jump out by making a read on the throw right there is Tweety. Giving up that meter, he's going to be much less dangerous if he finds a hit. Trying oh to get over. Goodness, oh, look there at it this. Is. Beautiful. And that is among the best jump kicks in the game. But Katana did the trick as the crush comes out. Wow, wake up. There's no escape. Oh, big damage on deck, and you are gonna oh! be bleeding right now! Somebody call an ambulance! She's still bleeding, look at the life up there, it's going away! Tried to flutter on top, no anti-air, did not take the bait there, Tweety. Fatal blow locked and loaded for both of these guys. They he tried to beat him in the sky, oh, he got no! out of time! And the chip is enough! Absolutely incredible first game between these two! If that fatal blow came any sooner, would have sniped him out of the armor, would have been 1-0 Samiz, not the case. Coming up into the pressure, into the trap chop. Last breath does not matter. Tweety, strike it, taking game number one. Starting out, look at that knee. That frustrating knee. That forward four. What we like to call auto neutral from the beta. What? Back in the day, easy hit confirm. That max distance jump from Tweety. Any of the air escape, you're still gonna lose some damage. There's some small okay. damage over time on you. The pressure Great is lost. Oh, in the oh, this is trouble. Big trouble here. And he can keep it on Chop Chop. There was a lot of damage left on that combo. We just didn't even need to see it. Round two. Fight. Twitty looking strong here. As sets the tone of this match. Aggression paying off. Samish, can he get something going here? These anti-airs are definitely gonna help. Oh my goodness! If that doesn't tell you these two are training partners, I don't know what does. Yeah, exactly. Surprised to not see the breakaway. Instead, Tweety now is gonna have a little bit more control. Slight life advantage. The anti-air comes underneath the jump down one. Hard to do, but he got it. Again, he knows that timing. You can really see how often they play it. Empty jump and the pressure. And that's the mind game they've been playing on. Wake up, oh, Savage, wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh my goodness. That was after breakaway as well. So those two bars are out of here. And now Tweety with a life advantage, with the meter advantage. And he's in a great spot, Samiz. What's he going to do? What's the call? No defensive bar. He can simply chip out. And the damage buff was there yep. on the flag. Yep. Just some added flair for Tweety here. Going up 2 0. Oh, there's a DJT. There's the chop chop! Bringing the hype for us here is Tweety. 
2-0. We saw someone in the same exact situation in game mm -hmm. number one. He's able to turn things around. That's true. It's not over. Although there's no character switch. It's just going to be Katana, but that doesn't mean that you can't still do it. Escaping just like that. Tweety did not want to see the rest of that one. I've had, I've had such joy watching these guys handle how their opponent wakes up, what <laughs> the decisions that they make, whether they're going to pressure, whether they're going to make a read on the jump, read on the wake up. They haven't really woken up either with buttons or jump, which is crazy to think about this high level. Antire oh. was there. No keep up. Threatened with the flood or nothing came. Oh, he didn't believe in it. He's had the false blocks, but not too sure if Katana has the range uh -oh. to actually get the punish on the up two or up three. He gets the grab. It's very close now. There's no defensive bar to avoid a chip kill right here. Oh, Man, so of course Tweety so goes smart. in. It's match point. That was so smart by Tweety. Chop Chop is, if you guys know from home, multiple hits. If you have any defensive bar on anything that will chip you out. Last Breath will save you one bar of defensive meter, will save you from chip death one time. If you have two bars, it'll save you oh. twice, but Chop Chop is gonna chop it at that, baby. Okay, let's get filled. Gets the knockdown there on the second plan, the amplified version. Didn't expect the amplified version there. Yeah, it's rare that you see a Marauder Baraka come off both just like that. He's gonna be much less damaging if he finds the hit. No gutted amplified. Coming in from downtown, beating up the startup of the forward four. Not easy to do. Very startup, off fast startup. We've got 14 frames right there. Wait a minute. Big crushing blow. Some means back to full screen. We go, but in striking range distance. Once he once he walks in, right there. Forward four range, back two range, jump kick range. I... Gonna eat that royal behind the face. Some is still in trouble though. Still match point. Tweety is trying to slow it down a bit for himself here. Just controlling things. You were talking about Blade Spark. It really is one of the better projectiles in the game. You don't think of Brock as being a zoner per se, but he can handle the mid range against a lot of the cast. It really does help Baraka against these heavy zoners just to set the tone and find his way in slowly but surely. And the, the amplified Blade Spark out damaging most projectiles in this game on trades. Yeah. So it is very good for him. Oh my Didn't goodness. Didn't He was ready for the tech right there, but I like how Samij is slowly trying to approach. He ends it early this time. That is the mix-up of Chop Chop, which is, in this community, known to be one of the most unpunishable things in existence. Pretty annoying. <laughs> Has gotten punished a couple times so far from Samish, but not a big punished character. It's Katana. We're gonna take a bite of that arm back to full screen. We go, and there's the trade of the Amplified Plate Spark. Mm -hmm. So much more damage than that oh, fan. Oh, the trouble comes! Even that at this point is a big deal. Okay, he didn't press the second button there. Got her! Chip is a big deal! Look at the patience. Everybody's video. Okay, let's throw. He needs to get back in. Oh He's not my gonna goodness. get it. It's the boot to the face. The what? heel comes for the heel up on the stage. Tweety takes it and moves into winner's finals. So here we go. Yeah, now you can see it's serious time. Big D settles into his chair, shoulders back, ready for the match. Now we talked about how Setron is a premier zoner of this game. A lot of projectiles. Let's look at these intros first. You embody virtuous loyalty. Then surely we are allies, Cetrion. Not until you abide Kronika's will. Round one, fight. So again, the name of the game for Cetrion primarily is to zone, and that's one of the big tools, but there's the purple stuff, and that immediately means the projectiles will just phase right through her. She can walk, but she gets hit, it goes away. Exactly, gonna take it away on hit, but Cetrion actually has really good pressure, has very stagger heavy, has a very stagger heavy game. That's true, pretty good damage in this variation as well, especially for a zoner. And has the teleport, so you know Jade's uh, zoning can be strong herself. Cetrion can immediately reverse the position anywhere on the screen, aerial or grounded. If, if, if she just, Ooh, the call oh, out, but nothing else. The wiggle, oh no! Wiggle stick hitting from so far away, it wasn't even comparable into Spacing a little too immaculate at a big D here. Let's take a burn from Dragon. We're going to the corner. Safe. Oh. Ready for the tech. Not ready for the tech. There was big D. He's tossed into the corner. Back broken. Not ready for the stagger himself. You know, that, that combo can end as a plus range, but there is a gap. Oh, she tried to answer Aaron. To be fair, such hands without one of the best. But oh not worth There you go. With a huge range. The wing comes out. That's knowing the options that a character has at a space. If you had that range, Jake can do an overhead very slow, Round low, two. pretty on the, on the slower side. Sure. Or the wiggle stick there that Dragon uh -oh. knows has a high, and there is that vine grab going through that purple glow. And Dragon's looking 
much better in this matchup than he did on the winner's side. Just pressuring him, this dragon. Big D walking out, try to. The pillar, annoying for sure. Oh, yeah. Could amplify at any moment there. Very quick startup and very active are those walls of Cetrion. I think that might be the best aspect of them is that they're so active, very big hitbox, and just controls the space in front of her. Oh, okay. My. So one shadow kick. Biggie's feeling the pressure of this health lead of Dragon, and he has played it, I have to say, man. perfectly as Dragon. Okay, he's out of there. He didn't and, like oh, it. He didn't man. like it. He didn't like it. He didn't like that at all. He didn't like it. Might be going to the mirror. The face of a savage right there. Cetria. Will he do it? It sounds oh, like he is. Oh, I heard her name a second time. Will he lock in? The spring cleaning mirror. Of course, that's the variation with the teleport and with the geyser for extra damage. In this matchup, geyser is not going to be uh, thrown wildly full screen because geyser will punish geyser into a full combo. It's going to be a lot of wall up close from what I've seen in this mirror. It's not one that you see too often, as these are two of the premier Cetrions in our Balancing scene. Balancing the realms is Mother's will. Leave that work to the sons of Argus. Taven and Dagon had that chance. Round one. A little bit Fight. of a history lesson coming from the Elder Goddesses before us. Getting aggressive is Big D and getting punished for it already. Trying to teleport in, having the young man react to this dragon as we go to the corner. No, Boulder toss it! Absolutely ready right there. Outranging that boulder has a lot of advantage oh, from no. full screen, and he can frame trap into the geyser even. He, he could have punished that geyser himself with Big D there. Maybe a little bit of hesitation. Not warmed up with Cetron, is he yet? Uh, we'll see if he can get there. As he said in his interview, this is the master. Oh. This is the one who taught Woo. him Cetrion. Pressuring here. Some slight staggers. It's not super heavy pressure, but that's not really what Dragon needs right now. It's all about staggers and oh, safety Jackson when it comes in. to Cetrion. Here we go with the mix up gonna be. Not falling forward as Dragon, not pressing the button. Definitely There's a big, big throw D. opportunity. Big D would like to find something. No! Dragon is ready again. 4 2 3 punishable on block. Guess who knows that better than anyone? Cetrion got himself Dragon here. Round two. Fight. Really good normals that Cetrion have that you're seeing Dragon utilize. Yeah. Stand one, one that like, leads into one, one very big uh, active hitboxes, and one, one, two, plus, or sorry, minus two on block, phenomenal pushback, always safe. You see Dragon opt for that a lot more to the four, two, three, Man. reactionary one, one, easy hit confirmed. This teleporting just has not worked for Big D. Okay, here we go. Didn't continue anything, could have more damage out of that combo. Ooh. The swipe into the corner now. Okay, Big D. Trying First find minor health lead. Oh, oh, wow. Big D was trying to move back in. Dragon's out of the corner. How many times have we seen Dragon just reversal or swing with a 1-1 one, one and gets rewarded for it? He's so good at hit confirming that 1-1. One, one, I don't know how he does it. No, it's amazing, yeah. Yo, Yo ready there. Young man's game, David. Okay. Great pickup by Big D. Will he try to pressure more? He was looking for the jump. As that boulder sails through the sky, the threat of the crushing oh, blow with it. No, he could have confirmed that. It could have been more. Absolutely. Scary stuff here. Okay, he's trying to go in. You can really see the difference in style here. Big D wants to get in there. Oh, not punishing it this time. His dragon, but gets the down one in the wall. Full screen, we go. And away. Oh, look at the time. Clock is ticking. I just noticed it myself. It was eight seconds on the clock. Dragon feeling the pressure, trying to get aggressive. Amplified Hell's Wrath there sitting for him. Covering all the territory on the way in. Aside from that teleport that we saw, Big D make the correct read on himself. And speaking of correct read, yeah. into one of the few questions Glow Cetrion has. A 2-1-2 two, two, sending you to the heavens. Just dealing a little bit of damage at a time here. Nice damage on the boulder again, advantage on that as well. Okay, using the wall. Blowing up projectiles. Get a crush from that as well. Ooh, the timing on that. Big D just did not expect it. There's no breakaway for him here. And although this is not killer oh, damage, this is going to be a reset mix-up. legit in this one. 
That's such a mix-up right there of if, if you're going to get thrown in the hits out of the wall or if you're going to get pressured. It's most, so smart by Dragon to come up all the offensive resources to put himself in a winning situation hey, right there. And another first. swing of the 1-1-2. One, one, Dragon going up 2-0 here, but a lot closer this time around for Big D. That is true, yeah. Well, man, we really saw the difference in styles, didn't we, between those two players? Big D coming in a lot more. Dragon was really content to stay at a range. He harassed sometimes, but it wasn't really it was the very, approach through teleport. It was just walking around and finding the right moment. It was very reactionary, I found from Dragon. He was sitting there letting Big D teleport and flail all around he wants. Sitting there waiting for his opportunity, teleport in. Whack, whack with the 1-1. Let's repeat. Easy hit confirm at the end of the day. Thinking deep there. Going back into it with the mirror. A lot closer from Big D, able to get the round. Mm -hmm. We've seen just a few uh, opportunities for Big D to get damage on the board and not getting the geyser on hit. We Ooh, saw 2 1 1. 2 1 3 crush comes. And here we go. Kick and firm it. He does. It's into damage. It's into the knockdown in the oh, corner. Oh, that's the optimal. Very tricky timing on that uh, jump kick into the stand 3 geyser. His usage of that, man, that range right there, he knows exactly where the opponent's going to be with the far wall. Oh my goodness, setting him ablaze right now. No fear of doing the boulder close range either. He need the wall of the face. If Big D was any further, and that wall would have absorbed the boulder, crushing blow, Exactly, baby. yeah, one of my favorites. That wall has to absorb a projectile, and then the Amplify has to hit the opponent. Very unique crushing blow requirement, but you do see it quite often. Yeah, it happens. Threatening a little bit there was Big T. Dragon's ready to just take it, move away. It's a very keep away style, stay away style, really, for Dragon. The aerial boulder toss looking for the big Again, read. You well, see, that does cost defensive bar, so it's not something you can do constantly. Oh, oh range no! range was just quite off. You gotta pilot it to the right spot, and that wasn't it. But it doesn't matter, Dragon is at match point. Walking into that active Hell's Wrath, Big D now. Back to the wall. What's it gonna be? Dragon on match point. And there you see Dragon again playing reactionary, even though he, he saw the start of the teleport, had that one sitting there waiting for him just in case. And he may even have, dare I say, whiff confirmed that. Okay. And didn't even go for the follow up. Out of the sky, but nothing. Uh, just safe stuff right there by Dragon. And when he's caught here, he's just very patient. Oh, eating eat rocks all day right now. Look at Big D really trying to move forward. Dashing forward, it's not working out. Dragon's got the hit, he's got the corner comp. So, so Cetrion's got some very unique zoning. In the hit stun of Hell's Wrath, it is a frame trap into the geyser. Yeah. And that's not something that you see very often. Every, everyone thinks of just the boulder. But if you can hit Hell's Wrath, you have to look for the same exact option. Not ready, but it, again, Dragon back in control. And even Chip at this moment is a big deal here for Big D. Oh, is that my enough? goodness. No, no, it would have been cool. Okay, the throw. You know, Big D is still alive, not dead yet. Set okay, that was cool. Definitely a tough comeback character. Doesn't have a lot of oh, damage. Yeah. Look at the time as well. 15 seconds left, 14 seconds left. For Cetrion, is this doable? I don't know. Yeah, that uh -huh. was one of the few that, ways that, that was crush one of the ways. Hit. If it, that crush had hit, maybe, but. Dragon's just gonna take all the throws in the world. This is absolutely over. Oh, the, hand the handshake already, already the happened. Handshake. He knew what was gonna happen. Dragon Content was just sitting there. He'll need to throw all day. That's time off the clock. Congratulations, Dragon. Moving on on the loser's bracket. Jackie Bay Briggs out of Sonic Fox here. Giris for Deoxys. Talk to me about this character matchup. This is a matchup that Sonic Fox and I think a lot of Jackie players like. Yeah. Just a lot, a lot of, a lot of bullying from J from Jackie. Cetrion sends her regards. Here to fight her battles. Here to finish what she started. Oh, that being said, Gears does have a lot of things that you want against oh! Jackie. Having a six frame down one. What else could it be at the start other than forward two? One of the best advancing oh, buttons wait a minute. in the game. Time uh, judge! Uh, are we going to get some throw loops? No, we're going into some 1-1 one, one pressure. That's something Deoxys is known for. Every gear is touched. Leaves you right next to Gears on lockdown. Mm -hmm. He can keep throwing you. He can keep pressuring you with, with mix-ups. That's the Gears way, and that's what Deoxys loves to do. Throwing back. Trying to pressure into the corner. Two throws just like that here from Sonic Fox. She, of course, has fantastic stagger pressure. She's very, very good with her buttons, so maybe he's trying to enforce the grabs early. 
breakaway. Oh no, this could be a lot of damage dealt here. It's gonna be enough. No big drop by Sonic Fox there. A little bit of breathing room from Deoxys, and this is one of the biggest damage dealing characters in the game. First Techie to throw. Only character in the game who can do that. Only variation in canceling into the dash punch is a high that can be crouched, but safe on blocked. Now, that dash punch, I believe, takes away the sand trap from half screen further, but not full screen here. Judo chop! And now, because of that, he's in close. As you said, basically, every time he gets a knockdown or a grab or whatever, he's right next to you again. Here we go. It's the confirmation. Deoxys is going to, yeah, of course, have to contend with breakaway. Oh, here we go. Another one. What's it going to be for breakfast here? Keeping it spaced out. Try Keeping it safe as well. Yeah, trying to change things up on Fox here. His turn. Excellent Walking patience. forward first. I like it right there. Oh, oh my I goodness. thought you said you were going to deal with Flawless Block. What's going on, Sonic Fox? It just cost you the round right there. Judo Chop. Sonic Fox is... Ooh, okay. Oh, not even a punish. Jax is just not ready for that quick of a reversal. I talked about the execution of, the, of this kid and already showcasing it right now, but this is a bad spot to be in. Yeah, nobody Sonic wants to Fox. be here. Yeah, and against this character as well. Again, she can stagger very well. She's very frustrating to deal with. She can cancel some of those strings as she's approaching, and you don't know when she's going to do it. Now, that being said, Gears does have one of the best down ones to deal with it. It is six frames. If, if your down one is eight frames or higher, you do kind of struggle against getting out of that Jackie pressure. Oh! oh! It's just fast. It's not even invincible. It's just fast. Oh, Sonic Fox kind of close us out here into the corner. Game number one. But this has already been a phenomenal battle between these two. Yox is showcasing exactly what he's all about. Fox with phenomenal corner position. Phenomenal control there in that final round. Doxus is always a couple of good reads. I would, I could say just Gears is always a couple of good reads from being in any round. Yeah, that's a character that's really gotten a lot of talk. Is he too good? Clearly he is good. But it's for Deoxys, you know, that's been the character he's been using. He won showdown with it. And here he's in top eight in losers, though. There are some ways around it. As you were saying earlier, people think that this is a pretty strong matchup win for Jackie Briggs. Great pressure for her. Ooh, not like that, though. Early breakaway for Fox. Yep, on command. You never want to eat half your health off of the first touch from Gears. And here we Time go. judge! Here we got some throw loops. Oh, no. Oh, he missed the top back one. Okay. Slow sand shot conversion. J Jackie still leaves her in beautiful range it herself. Nice pick. Oh, oh my yeah, yeah, goodness. Yeah. Coming yeah, from downtown with the back 2 2. The mid. Got him. Out of the corner. Sometimes you got to do that. Oh, oh reverses. Oh. Trying to get away, that means. Oh, okay. He really couldn't afford much chip right there because he had just rolled away. One defensive bar was gone. He could only have one last breath. Fox also had just got his breakaway array. Ooh, so an ominous idea. Even if opening, if you if you open up Fox, wasn't going to be able to get the kill. Wake up, up three out of Fox, generates the pressure off it in the hit stun. And are we going to have to throw loops off his zone? Oh, he's jumping over the up two, and I have expected that to hit Diane. Yeah, that's huge. Sonic Fox with the miss. Now he moves forward again. This is out of the corner, but he can still pressure very well. See, he's not too concerned about where he is, because once he's in, that's what he needs to do. Just like oh, this. Possibly missing his flawless block there. It's almost an OS that Gears players can't throw in off of the 4 2 1 2. Being safe, all they have to do is press that right trigger on a certain time window and add that up 2 or up 3 input. Nice. And done. wow. Oh, is he out of here? Is he out of the character? Is he going to switch? It's 2 0 right now for Sonic Fox. And again, this is loser's side. If Deoxys loses, he goes home. Jackie Free top eight, we were talking about Deoxys plays a lot of the cast. Very skilled individual. Taking a breather here, taking a sip of water, staying hydrated. That's definitely key here. And what's the pick gonna be? That's right, drink that water, folks. I don't mind if I do. What's the choice for Deoxys? It was all Gearus through Texas Showdown. It's been Gearus through Combo Breaker, and it sounds like he's running it back. Yeah, I think the look on his face said everything. Of it's gotten me this far. 
I'm warmed up with it. Mm -hmm. Let's put it all on the line. Match point, Sonic Fox. Round one, fight. That pressure's been good for him. That's really what this has been about. Keeping it safe for himself there. Ooh. Escape failed, and now it's pressure time for Sonic Fox. Anytime you see that is an added fear level in this game for most characters. Here we go. We're going coast to coast. But still no kings here. Combo breaker. We're in the corner. Stagger pressure coming out of Sonic Fox. Turn reversal out. Never punishable, though, it seems, is Jackie Bay. Off the defensive bar, jump himself to the corner, nine frame mid. Try to press the button, not today. Wow, this is all Sonic Fox. And it's not enough, but it's towards the corner, and that's fine for him right now. Okay, what an anti. And then the keep up before it, too. Somehow, the wind on the fist hit, he was looking for the breakaway, but Sonic Fox didn't even care. And he takes the round. What a Match point, Fox. Sonic Fox. Threatening the 3 0 against Deoxys, who I felt was one of the strongest looking players all weekend, despite being in loser's side. Oh. Reverses it again. Now you can tech that, but we haven't seen it yet. Three for three on that throw tech is Sonic Fox. Not looking out for it is the Ox. He's got to be ready for it against Jack at all times. There's a nice little judo chop once for breakfast. They got the up three. What? Okay, there we the go. Tech. There's the adjustments. Waking up with buttons. Oh. Finally, a crushing blow. How have we seen Garrus for three games and that's the first crushing blow? Phenomenal defense out of Sonic Fox, breaking the back once again. Look at the damage done just from that 34%. Oh, not there. He just was pixels off. This is a dash down to end of the round. Deoxys is on the board. Has a round, can, can he ride this wave of momentum here? Phenomenal down two. Oh my goodness, definitely tried to get either down one out there to try to pick that, that down two. Gonna get punished for it now, no defensive meter. Sonic Fox is gonna be on the hunt here. Yeah, he's already into the corner. Tried it down two, looked like, but that just got counter hit. And oh. finally the crush comes on the clinch. There's no escape. Look at the damage, the red bar. Oh my 52%. goodness. 52%. Are you kidding me? The wake up first time, escape failed, although not a big deal versus Garrus. You're just next to him. Oh, Again. Here we go. Can he keep it going? It's Garrus, of course he can, but will he versus Sonic Fox? No! It's a 3 0 for Sonic Fox, who remains intent until the fatal comes out. Cetrion versus Katana, and we're getting into it. Look for a lot of really big reads from Samish, utilizing. Unique mobility out of Katana with her butt slam going sure. full screen. He tries to instant it overneath the Hell's Wrath, Hell's Wrath trying to close that gap, mm -hmm. generate pressure that way. Big reads, big risks. We'll see if it pays off for Samish on his approaches. Yep. Otherwise, Dragon's going to play a really good keep away game here. That's definitely Dragon's intention. He wants to keep the opponent out. He's got the tools to do it in this matchup. I definitely think this is one in which Satrion can control the pace. She can control the space. She this is a very strong character in this matchup, I feel. Her defeat freed it from the hourglass. Because it also restored your virtue. Ooh! Got a fault. Katana oh bringing it. Goodness. Wow, what a start with the pillar. Again, that will neutralize projectiles just like that. So Dragon right to the zoning game. This is where he wants to be. The mobility game is there as well. Not easy to chase down. I mean, we already have seen that, that she's not easy to chase down. But what? We're seeing Samich in just like that. Not a great mix-up character, but got a little bit of pressure up close. Very good answers for those jump-ins that Citron have as well. Stand one, gonna deal with that jump two all day. Jump kick with a different story. Active frames and hitboxes, uh, depending. Okay. Oh, and he looked for Samiz to get aggressive, and it was Samiz that sat back and said, stop looking in front of my face. How about that dragon to take the bait? Can he get a punish? It's not quite there. And it was for the punish string. That was his intention. Just didn't quite get the button in time. Back to the range where he wants to be. Ooh. Trying to thread the needle there a little too closely. And that boulder will go away if she gets touched. Phenomenal flawless block on the boulder as well. Shaving off those frames on block. That one in the fan. One in the frame. Turns into a launcher on anti-air, by the way. And there and you go. Tight execution there from the young man, Dragon. Closing out with the optimal off of that Kaiser combo. Round two, fight. 
the range where Samij needs to get in, the range where Dragon likes to be at the start of that round. Dragon might have to slow down a little bit on these boulders. They haven't really been effective against uh, Samij here at the full screen. Those fans hitting okay, the start up. Oh, this. big counter read there by Dragon. That might be conditioning this whole time. He let him get comfortable throwing those fans and burned them for it. The trade! Nobody got anything. Okay, nice little stagger right there. Can he keep oh, it up? Beautiful into the lift. And so Dragon's out of there. Now caught in the corner though. Hoping to see a counter hit, nothing came. Sometimes it's not a bad day, the opposite swing or something to save oh, block. Over it. Oh, here we go. Hit confirm into the fan lift. Jumped right over the wall. No breakaway. We're going to the corner. Next hit will kill for Samij. Can he tie us up here? Nice stagger into the amplified fan. Throws another one. One round apiece. It is not your day. He's really keeping this close. Funny round. But just spacing again to start out with. This is much more where Dragon wants to be, Samij, moving forward. Using those fans, not to zone, but in order to just shut down Dragon's zoning. There you go, to stay on top of things as well. Yeah, again, really just the intention with those fans mostly is to trade with what Cetrion wants to do or stop Cetrion from doing what she wants to do. The highs there in the string. Blocking them, blocking them here is Dragon. Oh my goodness. Because Cetrion got hit before the wall hit Katana, no crushing blow for you, young lady. Old lady, I should say, with this Elder God. Well, yeah. Same with Katana, though. Is that they are here? Just swinging the wake up up three from Katana is such an awkward one in this game. It actually leans her back rather than a more aggressive up three that is invincible. Down one wall. Unsafe on block, but you always got to be prepared for the amplification. Does have the bar in the bottom right of your screen. No pickup off the deep jump kick. Looking for the whip of the 4 2. Put down active ball anyway. Dragon. Life is dwindling. Does have fatal blow though. He punish. Yes, you can bunt that. Rolling away. You can see Dragon knows that he needs to get in. There's only 20 seconds left. That's not a ton of time for a character like Cetrion. Out of the sky. The second one didn't hit. Delayed wake up. Oh and my tried goodness. Tried to duck it. It's a read. He was looking for the high on the end of that string right there, but it was the overhead instead. And game one goes to Samij. You saw Dragon's life was dwindling, throwing out a lot of geysers there at the end, looking for the easy confirmation into the fatal blow. That's really her only real easy way to get it. No breakaway after a geyser launches as well. Not able to get it. Beautiful close out there by Samij. And don't forget to follow NRS Esports on Twitter. Follow all of the action live right here at Combo Breaker. Follow all of the action around the Mortal Kombat competitive community Round in general. Four. They do an amazing job on that Twitter. Shout out. Back into the second game here. What an escape! Although nothing out of it. I love the movement though. Just cool to see. Now it may be a chance for pressure here. Maybe Dragon might have a bit of a different take so far at the beginning of this match. Last Man. game, of course, was very defensive. So far, it seemed like he wanted to pressure more, but here's Samij instead with the corner control. Yeah, speaking of the offense, getting a clean jump in over the wall. Corner for pressure right now out of him. Oh, no. Oh, he did have the bar. He did. He if did. Dragon would have amplified, that might come back to haunt him. But that bar going to be utilized to amplify the geyser. The launcher breaks away for Samij now. No. What a duck. And Whoa. the crushing blow punish comes. And that's great damage right there. There was no possibility of an escape. The limited damage out of Sentry on 42%. Samid's trying to approach. Oh, jumping into the Hell's Wrath, looking for a read on the wall, perhaps, or the boulder. And Dragon backdashing his way across the screen. Not ready for the jump in. Just playing so patiently. Looking for some easy opportunity. He's just been holding the block button for the last little while. Okay, there he comes forward. Shows his moment to strike with the forward two. Dragon gets around on the board. Fatal blow still loaded for him coming into this. All bars of meter in play. There it is. There's the crushing blow of the wall. We've been looking for it all day. And there's the absorb that Katana has. This buff does not last very long, though. It's something you have to absorb. Immediately go in and hope to get the hit. Oh. There's the anti no, the four. Trying to keep up too much. 4 one four whiffed, and there was a big chance for Samij. Who's again using those fans just to pester his opponent, try to force her into a bad situation. The intention is not really zoning out of Katana, it's just trying to move in. Oh, oh not in time! Start up on the teleport, and look at the flutter! What a decision by Samij! 
No defensive bar now for Dragon. There is no escape. Is he gonna end? With the butt slam, that's the round for Samish. Final round. Fight. Because that was enough to get the job done. Didn't have to come up with crushing blow either. What a swing. He has been reacting to the startup of these teleports incredibly well. And oh. there's the crushing blow. Still a wow jump early too. Just to swipe through. Out of there, but to what end so far? Samir seems like he's been able to chase down Dragon very consistently. So while Dragon escapes, we need to see more stage control out of him. Or maybe it's pressure, like I said at the beginning of this game. Maybe that's what he wants to do. All these jump are getting the Dragon. Does have the air escape, gets the max damage off it. With the down two, the throw, gonna close things out. 2 over for Samiz right now. I gotta say, David, mm. this is gonna sound weird coming, coming out of my out of my mouth. Right? Okay. Because I think Samiz is one of the best jumpers. Oh yeah, he is. He is. In in our scene's history. He is. Look look back, Catwoman, Melina. First off, characters with really good jump normals. But <laughs> the way that he chooses his timings on jumping in, I don't understand how he knows when to, it seems like more than anybody else. He picked his times there flawlessly. Three for three in that final round to close out game number two. And I love as well how he continues to be able to pester set around with his own Projectiles. You, know, you think of this as being really Cetrion's game, the projectile game, but so far Katana's been able to use her fans in order to shut down part of Cetrion's zone. That has no, come to play. Time. Again, he was looking for the crush. Looking to get him off the defensive bar, just like the image in and of itself. Not looking there for in time. Low there. Oh, stayed on top. The movement right there. This is a sign, I think, to Samich. There you go. Knows exactly what's coming. He was able to float on top of her zoning. He's jumping in at the right times, pressing buttons at the right times. Dragon mixing things up off 4 2 incredibly well. Just 4 2, 4 2, 3, wall. Down one wall. All of the mix is there for him. Samish blocking it all, though. It hasn't really been opened up by that pressure of Cetrion. Those fans have been detrimental in interrupting the startups of Cetrion's zoning. Really smart stuff by Samish just to throw him, especially here at the mid range. Sure. Oh, there's a Lancey's punish for him. Gonna get some damage out of this, but the breakaway comes for, for a lot. Still harassing here. The tech, but still, of course, some damage dealt. You always take a little bit of damage when you tech a throw. Big whiff right there. Gonna be a confirmation. Took down two things out. Dragon. A little bit of momentum here. Up around. Gotta work on it. Still a long way to go here on loser's side. Try to keep it up with the butt, but it's not there. At least he got some pressure afterward. Oh, looking for the flutter. Mm -hmm. this is, oh my goodness, did you see what Dragon actually attempted there? He was reading the fan after the flutter at that distance. If that would have worked, it would have been tremendous. Unfortunately, not for himself. But I like the idea out of Dragon there. Thinking differently. Great timing right there on the Hell's Wrath. It's not something he's brought out a lot there. Oh, punish! She is stuck there for a while. You're not going to beat that her there. Samich has the corner now. Getting a little buttonsy as Dragon. Oh, here we go. No breakaway. He's in trouble. No, the drop and a punish. So lucky for Dragon. He really needs to capitalize on this. Got the corner. Up three. Oh, try to flaws block, punish that. Active wall. The the hit, the hit, and now there's no breakaway. Guaranteed. A blow. The damage will come. They're battling. Is you it see the shield enough? up there. You see the skull up there. Cetrion, you solar beam. It wasn't super effective, he's still alive! Just ducking right under those fans. Even on Amplify, it's a high. Is that enough oh on top of it? My on top goodness. of it, and there's Dragon! What an expectation! Beautiful forward two out of him. But how godlike was Samish fluttering over the Hell's Wrath? Beautiful. This is top Mortal Kombat 11 play here at Combo Breaker. Beautiful stuff right there. Both playing to the limits right now. Top six. I love the little mind games that they play. The awkwardness of all of the special moves of Cetrion versus the mobility of Samish has been the battle of a lifetime. Okay. And starting us off with the crushing blow wall. So smart is Dragon. A face off at the beginning of the round. Harassing a bit. What an anti air. Okay, and they even got the wing after. Oh, 
not something she can do too much about right there. Katana just needs to try to move her way forward. As Simi dropping has throughout the set. That could be put oh. in. Go for it. Yeah, so I think he was thinking that the max distance would be enough. Beautiful anti-crossover, by the way. Not enough range on that. But at that range, definitely could have butt slammed it. Mm. There's a punish! Dragon's got it. There's no breakaway. Samish lives in the round. It's not over yet. Chip. Not there. Still two bars of defensive meter. And out of there. Oh, punish. on the ground. It wasn't not even a actually. punish. It looked like Samish was going for a back dash right there. Dragon still with the swing. We saw the reactions in round number one versus Big D with that stand one all over it. Now he's riding this incredible wave of momentum now is Dragon. Out of the sky. Tried to. That would have been super cool. But at least Samich has some corner pressure here. Well, not for long. That's the Cetrion privilege. She was out of there. Grab. And now Samich again has the corner. Well, meanwhile, Dragon only has one defensive bar. He'd love to escape. He does again. And just waiting it out while that second or that first defensive bar comes back. Ooh. Very patient. Okay. Once again, we see the vine going underneath the fan. This is the stagger pressure. We like to see out of century on here. Looking for the offense. Looking for the read on the fan at the mid screen that we see Samish go for all the time to interrupt the startups of century on specials. We got ourselves a slobber knocker. Oh. Beautiful reaction. Nice breakaway. Coming in safe on block. Mm -hmm. Samish taking his turn. What a neutral, neutral jump. jump of all choices in that situation of play. The fatal blow comes out. I don't know if it's enough damage. It's not enough damage. Dragon is still alive here, but he does need to make a comeback, and that's not Cetrion's strength. Oh! Back to full screen, we oh, go! Okay. And that the is the full screen frame trap right there. <laughs> and the second, second hit. The first one was not in range, but the second was. We're going to a game number five here. Cetrion. Or was it the amplified fan toss of Katana that moved her forward into it, David? Mm. Feels bad there. <laughs> the dragon, great, making a great recovery right now. Looking better and better as this match goes on. Keep in mind, he was down 2-0 to Samiz right here. Looking grim even in that uh, third potential third and final game. Turn this thing around entirely. The mental fortitude of these players, incredible. Here we go. Game number five here. Dragon versus Samish. You guys like what you're seeing out there? That's what I like to hear, Combo Breaker. The Amplified version came in. Trying to get the whip punish there. She ducked under. Walking forward consistently as Samish. He wants to get the corner again. Oh, wow. Dash forward. No tech. It's been very consistent. No anti tether to Dragon. Looking for the throw maybe with that neutral jump. Back to the pressure we go here. It's Samish. No stagger pressure. Letting the string rock. It's simply reversaling with the throw is Dragon. And look at this pressure. I love that. Utilize yeah. any kind of uh, positive frames on the ground. Teleport in. Get aggressive. Punish, try, yes. to, try to make a read on the fan there. And then not in range for the punish either. This is Samish's round right now. Dragon's going to need something big to make this comeback. So Samij now playing it pretty cautiously. It's much slower pace than we're accustomed to from him. Oh, no, the drop! A little too far away for that stand three. Not a huge hitbox to that bad boy. It's still the aggression of the track. It's just a jump kick by Samij. Match point! And Samij starts close this time. This is more where he wants to be. What a jump in, and he does find it. Dragon has a great anti-air choice there. We didn't see it. Oh, slitting the belly open. 389 damage. Already halfway there, Samiz the throw. Working on a flawless victory right now. The wall gonna stop it. This is what we need to see right now at a dragon. Controlling things if he can from far away. Does not want to get close. There's plenty of time on the clock for a comeback right now. But he may not get it. There's no breakaway. Samiz is gonna get close on this one. He already used the crush, keep in mind. There you go, the keep up. Samiz takes it. Sends Dragon out of the tournament. We're seeing Aaron Black versus Wait. Kung Lao. Kung Lao! This, can, can, this, I, can this, I tell you? This is the run back this from is Mortal Kombat X. Literally, the characters run back 
from EVO 2015 Grand Finals. Now, he also used Katana, to be clear. But it was Aaron Black versus Kung Lao for at least part of it. Your hat is no weapon. Well, that's just weird, Kung Lao. <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard that before. <laughs> and how smooth yeah. are Aaron Black's one-liners? How many times have you seen Kung Lao versus Aaron Black? Zero. Okay. Here we go. This is unique for all of us. Sonic Fox with the legacy character for this man. Ooh, the duck and the punish comes right here. Kong Lao, when the first game came out, when the game first came out, some people thought that he was a little underpowered. I'll admit that I was one of them, but the more the game goes on, I see a lot of strength in this character. Yeah, the way that Foxy approaches, uh, approaches the character is a lot different from most other Kung Laos really on the planet. It's a lot of staggers yep. and a lot of throws. The man loves to throw. Yeah, he was explaining to me how to play Kung Lao. He was like, yeah, just use basically three moves. And you're fine. Oh, he rolled oh, through! The Sonic Fox special! It's cow chops all over again! There's an achievement for that. <laughs> that's what we that's what we in the business. Okay! The neutral duck. You mentioned it before. He's known for doing it. But right back into things is Sonic Fox. Wow, what a pickup looking. Very clean right now is Sonic Fox. Look at this punish. This is damage over time. The triple shot off the stance. And we're swinging this. Keeping it safe right there. Still maintaining corner control. Foxy's in trouble. Okay. The jump kick. It's got a great box. There's that back to Juju once again. again. Absolutely pistol whipping this man to death. Breaking up the rifle from down. Oh, he blew his hat off. Game one for Sonic Fox. Oh. The actual character run back from EVO 2015. I can't believe it. And he sticks with Kong Lao. The oh, pretty, pretty, oh. Okay, at least a trade for him. Punish, please. He does. Beginning part of that was unbreakable. Very tricky stuff right there with, with that meaty Z hat. Very good recognition that it was the break range of Sonic Fox. Kung Lao does do a lot of damage in this game. If you can get opened up, this is going to be another punish. Not coming off the crushing blow, though. He's baiting out the air escape. And what's going to be the mix off of this disrespectful back throw from Sonic Fox? Okay, wow. that was pretty sick. Keeping it safe again. Oh, lovely little approach right there. Oh, oh no! Oh man, he was stuck on the dip for a while, but at least he's out now, and there's no breakaway. This is some of the damage we're seeing. The setup comes, the delay, and that means grab. So smooth is that setup. Big damage. Z hat being meaty. Oh, oh the, the cancel! cancel. But wow. Sonic Fox was somehow ready! What reaction out of the young Fox with a jump kick? Foxy putting around to the board with Kung Lao. Round two, fight. Oh. Out of the sky. Beautiful can reaction. Can you get the crush? You can still get the crush. Ah, okay, not anymore. Sonic Fox looking so hard to throw, which is Foxy's game plan. Centralized around this character. Z-Hat is going to save him. Are you kidding me? Still out there and spinning. No breakaway, though. Up three, but doing in the dip right now. Look at the damage over time. Still burning. There we go. Breakaway, of course, naturally comes. Sonic Fox is right back into the mix, though. Z-Hat, keep it up. Oh, oh no. no! The drop it actually could have been for the game. That would have been enough damage. Kung Lao hitting like a grown man. The down to crushing blow. No air escape okay. and the fatal blow. Sonic Fox ends up taking that. Can't help but feel like that was a stolen round. Foxy Grandpa gave it up. He had a chance to kill. And just didn't take it, unfortunately for him. So he's got to try to battle back here. Nobody wants to be down 2-0 to zero against Sonic Fox. But you got, oh my goodness, you got to yeah. look at the positive here for Foxy. He doesn't have his fatal blow in a round three, if it comes down to it. True. Yep, Zia coming to the rescue. No, he tried to get the whip punish, but the Amplify comes on block or whip. You can do it. Delay. Okay, counter hit. There is breakaway. Naturally, it comes. Fox is still pressuring him. Still pressuring. Tried to get up into the sky. Can he get a whip punish? Yes. No breakaway, big damage on deck. Is there a meaty Z hat? No, the execution. I can't believe two times here. in one game we've seen a big whip. He's got another chance. This time he seals the deal. A Foxy, Foxy Grandpa, Grandpa ties it up. 
going home to Kung Lao. This is what you want to see. The rematch of rematches from mm -hmm. years prior. I can't believe it. 2015 Four. MKX Grand Finals, this exact matchup, and we're seeing it relived on a stage like this. Out of the sky. Oh, nope, didn't go for the juggle. Slowing it down. Oh, oh. Okay. Amplify teleport, of course, lets you delay it. And now a bit of an approach here for Foxy Grandpa, not too wild, no anti air either. Sonic Fox consistently keeping things safe here in the way that he pressures. Oh, couple of big whiffs right there. Trying to come in from downtown to Sonic Fox with those size 10 Texans from across the screen. Overtime, overtime! The damage really mounts and didn't bother even breaking away. So now actually Fox Grandpa does have the corner for himself just like that with a switch. Not for long. Oh. Too far, but not punished, surprisingly. Oh, the first time we've seen Slide in quite a while. Foxy Grandpa somehow already. Good patience there by Sonic. It's almost as if Sonic knew that he was gonna he was gonna end it early because of the execution errors that we saw earlier. Either way, Sonic Fox still has his breakaway. Punish. And, and again, this is good damage before you even go into the sky. So Fox, Sonic Fox getting grabbed. Foxy Grandpa has the life advantage. Oh, and another one. Up. Okay, the throw is probably starting to work out. All tied up. One game apiece. One round off. Final round. Fight. Starting far away, Foxy Grandpa would love to get something. He tried to get the whip punish. There you go. There is a breakaway available, of course. Z had set up way advantage on block, and now Foxy Grandpa oh, has the life lead. Yes. The crushing blow comes. He gets the grab again. Another escape failed. Wait a minute. Ace Kung Lao character that has it on both rows. The pistol whip gonna get punished here. No breakaway. Foxy goes up 2-1 wow. on Sonic with Kung Lao. Only on back throw for Kung Lao. We're taking a look at Foxy Grandpa's face. Is that not a, enough of a fatality for people? His face right there? It's not enough? It's look not at, enough right there? Look at the determination on his face. Look at the viciousness on his face. It's not enough? Going back to the character select screen is Sonic Fox here. Remember, he has not won Mortal Kombat at Combo Breaker. And he's Could won, that continue? Sonic Fox, as strong as he is, number one at Summit. He's one game away from potentially making it another year before he tries again here. Making the switch to Jackie, who is considered his, I believe, his main at this point in time. Oh, gave, us the, gave us the classic. But it's now or never. If you're Sonic Fox here. Down one, two. Foxy Grandpa with his D-hat. May not be something that Sonic Fox is necessarily ready for. And Foxy, he, you know, I talked to him with some at the time. Talked to him coming into this. It's just a character that he loves to play. Yeah. And when it gets going, it does feel comfortable. It's 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 just it's something that makes him. Know, it's, it's, it's a mental thing. He, he clearly looks comfortable. There's no doubt about that. Sonic Fox took all that damage. He had intention, but no. It's not about tears. It's not about matchup numbers. It's about passion Punish. for the character, passion for the game. Foxy Grandpa. No. Knock it on Gotta the elimination the door right, right there. Now. Yeah, this is looking great for Foxy Grandpa, but Sonic Fox in the clinch. You know the back throw is coming. Yeah, one of the better options right there. And Foxy Grandpa has the range. He can harass a little bit. Great chip right there on the Z hat. Oh, and it was enough. Beautiful. It was enough. It's match point, Foxy Grandpa, to eliminate Sonic Fox. The best player in NetherRealm Game Studios history. What a At pick risk up. right now for elimination. Good delay, wake up by Sonic Fox, not to get any of the blocks in. Off of that Z-hat to the corner, we go. Okay, yep. No, the oh. tackle! Okay! Okay, very cute idea, right, Sonic? Not the rest, and not punished either. Fox seems like he's frozen just a little bit. This is rarely something that you see. Even the wake up, which is something we don't see from any very often either. Loading yeah. the crush blow. Oh, easy hit confirm right there. No breakaway. Sonic Fox sights up and around a piece here. In game number four, trying to stay alive. Final round. Fight. Z 
he had. And good chip out of that, as you can see. Oh, trying to dash punch. Get it before the startup. Not the case here from Sonic. A little too late. Super fast mid on the approach. The escape comes. And there it is. Sonic Fox is in again. No, the drop. Oh, no. I mean, it's so unlike him to do it, but we've already seen it two or three times just in this one game. Sonic Fox is in trouble. Oh, wait. Did we just see the micro bags out of Foxy? Is he trying to get to Sonic Fox's head? The counter throw. Yes. And in the clinch, is it loaded? Yes. Big Crush damage comes. here. And no breakaway. You're eating every bit in this no. other corner. Sonic Fox does have life advantage. Oh, the big attempt. And that's something he's going to pay for with the game. Foxy put it all on the line. You want one more? Returning the fatality. The, the crowd wants to see it. How disturbing is the heartbeat against the glass? I actually never noticed that before until right now when the sound is pumping into my ears. Shouts to the team over at NetherRealm Studios for delivering on these fatalities in MK11. For delivering on MK11 in general. Game five. Sonic Fox managed to recover there. Yeah, it is game five. It's still Jackie, of course, obligated to stick. And for Foxy Grandpa, he's stuck in with the character as well. Oh, this time it works. It. Escapes. They're trading buttons here, but Sonic Fox finds it. Loading one part of the crushing blow there on the clinch follow-up. Approaching. Foxy's in the corner. He's in trouble. A little bit of Foxy's own game here with his throws. Nice position. Another one. Wasn't me for breakfast. That's the mix-up throw or meaty. Mm -hmm. Sonic Fox plays it incredibly well. Jumping over. Oh, Not punished. So, close. so Fox grab it just like that. Now he's got the advantage in the corner here. Z hat set up. Escape failed. Escape failed. If there's a back throw, there's a big damage coming. Yeah, that's what it's probably gonna be. He's ready. So Sonic Fox. Oh, he escapes and actually did not grab in time. Is this gonna do it? Yeah, Sonic Fox is at match point all of a sudden. Foxy was in control just a few minutes ago. It's completely flipped around. He has picked the character that almost counters Foxy's game plan perfectly. All about countering throws and almost punishing you for them. So smart by Sonic Fox here on the pick. Even though this is Oh my yes. god! Oh no! Once you get both of those throw follow-ups, that's a crushing blow on the kick there. Uh. Okay! And immediately Sonic Fox did not want to see any of that. Backing off. So oh nothing! There. Minus seven, it is yep. your turn after blocking that dash yeah, punch. Yeah, press the button. Beautiful pickup, Sonic Fox knocking on the door. Cool. He's in control. The grab comes. That should do it somehow. Sonic Fox stayed alive, and he ends up moving on in loser's side. Just as when they played in EVO Grand Finals back in 2015, he's the one who comes out on top. Moving along the loser side bracket, Sonic Fox inching his way closer to a comic record title. Still a long way to go here in this bracket. Looks oh, like 2D. we have Sonya and looks like we have Baraka as well. I was wondering what 2D was going to do, whether he would switch over to Gears or something because, of, of course, it's a character of his. He's got a couple that he could use alternatively to Baraka, but it looks like he's going in with Marauder here. Baraka's definitely gotten him here. We've seen the strength of Baraka. We've seen the strength of Tweedy, how he likes to approach. He, you know, Try to control the pace of the match. Going to be a little bit harder here against how, uh, you know, the quickness of the projectiles of Sonya Blade. 12 frame start up on the ring. That drone yep. drop comes out of nowhere like a bat out of hell. And we're getting in the winner's finals of MK11 here at the pro competition beginning at Combo Breaker. Let's go. Starting off with the Blade Spark, as you said, pretty strong. Ooh, just like that. What patience from Scar and capitalizing with the grab. He's trying to get in there. Wake up up three was way too far away. This is definitely looking like it's gonna be a slow matchup from Scar. It seems like he just wants to stay away, throw those rings as you were saying. And as we said earlier, Baraka's sparks are actually really strong, but man, from Sonya, it's hard to get much better than the rings. It really is so quick, so little recovery, and that crushing blow, if you're trying to move around it, you can get destroyed for it. 
choosing his times wisely. Those tweeting oh, what a walk beautiful. underneath. Now that was ridiculous. Gotta see the escape here. Are we not? We're not. 37%. Oh, he's in big trouble. That means there's no escape. This is actually the end of the round. Oh, this I, round is actually over right I, now. I think he's actually done right here. It's already gentlemen. done. All he's got to do is Oh! All he has to do is chip. Well, you can't get Two. overextended here. You can't get overextended. Two last breaths. One forward four. Four four is the threat. Chop, chop. Forward four is the threat. Ooh, lovely from Scar. And he was ready for the entire run on a dive. Here comes Scar. It's not enough fight yet. Very close. One hit a piece. Look at the fake out. That was so you sick. see the fake out oh, of the ring. Are you kidding me? Spark and Tweety takes the first round. You can see how important that was to him. That's how you start a winner's finals right there. Smart. That movement. Oh, dude, that is Scar. Doesn't get no. any closer than that. Wow! Oh, beautiful. I love it as the game develops. As always happens, people's anti airs get a little bit more creative, a little stronger. Expected the last hit of the string there didn't come. I mean, that just goes to show you the level of play that we are seeing right now. You know, known as a universal problem, Baraka's jump kick and finding the answers on these top players with the tools that they are given. Again, no escape. Last time we saw the wake up here, he was ready for the jump. Quickly the escape from Baraka. Look at the jab going right into this fatal blow. This is not going to be enough, but it's going to put Tweety one hit away potentially from taking game number one here in winners finals. Only 88 left for Scar. Two last breaths available. Cannot get hit. There is a fatal blow there. Held it. He was looking for the crushing blow. Back to overhead. Oh, what a tech! And oh! he gets hit. What was it? Tweety was just maybe trying to move away. I do think that Sonya's fatal blow has more range than you might think. Absolute savagery out of Scar, and that's what it takes to be in this position right now. What a read after a tech on the throw, reading that Tweety was going to back oh, up. Oh, lovely. Not to keep up, though, unfortunately. There's Are the you attack. kidding me? What confidence right there to just duck as Baraka's feet come flying at your face. That thing's active. I'd be scared out of my mind, David. Lovely whip punish. That's not the case for Scar. He clearly feels like he's in control. The big damage comes in. No escape. There it is. Surely a breakaway now. No. Oh my goodness, Scar, uh, sorry, Scar here with the belief, eating 380 damage like it's nothing. Punish. Oh, that could have been so big. It was just down one. No breakaway. Now next hit is gonna win here. Oh my goodness, they the are trading rate. the wildness right here. Chip, chip, chip. Got him. Is Wait. that enough? No, no offensive part to amplify that for speech and music. Four and four from downtown. Game one goes to Tweety. Tweety could barely press stand one on that fatality screen right there. <laughs> you can see how strongly that got to him in game one. That was just game one. Just game one, ladies and gentlemen. This is winner's finals. This is what you came to see. Starting out strong, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Scar putting up some buttons of his own. Got a chance for more pressure. Got a chance for more pressure. Yeah, he's not giving up this time. You backed off a little bit last game, not now. Ooh. Look at the change things up there was Tweety. Be outside of the jump kick range and outside of that down three range of Sonya. Oh, Sonya's. he was pumping oh, it before. My. He was so ready. Scar knew exactly what was coming up. Two seconds before Tweety even knew it was time to jump. And that's how you respond. When you have an idea lined up, you gotta execute, and that's exactly what Scar did. Dead even so far. Yeah, you can see the damage that Baraka's fireball does. You really have to respect that. Again, yeah, we've seen the response. The delay. Wait. Oh, again. So now so Tweety's, confident. Tweety's looking for different answers to that. Yeah. He, 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 he tried spacing it out, seeing if he could outdistance it with the extended normal. Not the case here. And Scar working on back to back. Oh, my goodness. That was utter domination in game two here. As close as game no, game number one was, game number two was a blow up. Short term memory out of the veteran Scar here. Confidence going right back into it. Tweety, a fighter himself in the anti air plates. Are you okay. Ooh. Had a chance for more. Just kind of an awkward angle. Now Scar again, chance to pressure for more. It's also hard to pick up off those deep jump kicks when you're used to getting anti-aired like five times in a row. Definitely. You're not even ready for it to hit. Right. Scar trying to take the belief out of Tweety here. Moving in. 
Flawless Clock. Yeah, he has been threatening that each time. I think it may be the first time we've seen 1 1 2 in a couple of games. Must have been doing 1 1. Now Tweety in trouble. He just can't get touched. Scar knew exactly what was coming. Again. A complete turnaround. Looking like a completely different player here is Scar. In control. Yeah, and in offense and in the neutral game, both sides. Yeah, he didn't really have that in game number one. No. Uh, it, was, it was more the Wild Wild West out here, but no. Ready for the low block at just the last second. He hit the neutral ducking, but not oh. there. There you go. Oh, man, that's so scary. Only activating. I like these faking out projectiles as well with those normals that have the rings around her uh, wrist. Makes them look like the startup. And it's a hard start to react to anyway at 12 frames, like I talked about earlier. Just seemingly ready for everything. Oh, can he keep it up? Yeah. Now we haven't seen escapes. No, we're not going to see it again. Just taking Baraka, Marauder Baraka damage to the dome consistently. Punish comes here. And Sweet a lot of damage music. without breakaway ability right there. I love that choice. It was so far. There, there it again. is. That low, so sneaky. Catching a lot of people off guard, one to one. Oh, sorry. Scar, again, full control. What is Tweety gonna do? Scar looks like he is a completely okay. different player. Okay. Sorry about that, it's guys. Back to Baraka. Two, two, one. That is how quick Scar has made those last two games look. I only thought it was one. Absol no, you're right. It was very fast. And ready, man. So ready for everything. Ready again. I wish I knew which directions we were talking about here, because he's cast right three times in a row. Scar has not broken away, I think, from a single gutted combo. Right? Yeah, to take Marauder Baraka damage and still getting games. Unfortunately, I think it may cost him an entire health bar here. Oh my goodness. That was a tendency of Scar. Oh! Jeez. Tweety picking up with the tendency of Scar not breaking away and immediately uh, waking up with that up yeah, uh, toot. Yeah. Maybe back to the zoning game as a result. Just not want to contend with Barack up close right now. Just keep him away. Overhead under. And maybe try to answer. Maybe air to air even. Wow. So consistently anti-airing. And throw escaping. Both defensive sides like that. Whiff punish as well. Uh, Somehow making 4 4 4 whiff the gigantic string from Baraka. And Scar was ready. Not easy to do in a full cash out there by Scar for 40%. Uh, Rocket out uh, out that's of there. a big bet. I don't know if that was what he needed. And Scar, just like that's at match point here in winner's finals, trying to get into grand finals for himself. On the, on the winner's side, giving him the extra cushion. I guess whoever makes out the losers has to still get through one more health bar of Tweeties to get there. Tweety all of a sudden very blade spark heavy. Oh my goodness, the That's hitbox so on that is so high. Wow. Homework done for Scar right here. It is not easy to stop Baraka from jumping at you. I'm telling you at home, folks, it is not easy. Scar is somehow making it look that way. No meter right now for Tweety. Whether he gets hit, he's stuck. Whether he finds a hit, he can't do much. There's the crush. It's big trouble now for Tweety. Who really can't get touched. Trying to move through the punish was there again. Scar, as in almost every situation throughout the last three games, was ready. Whether it was a throw tech, whether it was a whiff punish, whether it was an anti air, whatever it was, Scar was ready and he has made grand finals. You don't think I know the lore? <laughs> <laughs> David, don't look at me like that. I hear this ain't your first rodeo. I've fought for thousands of your years. Can't be that with a stick. Round one. All right. What? what a start. Loser semis. Samish. Sonic Fox. Dancing under. I don't think there's an Aaron Black out there that utilizes down four quite like Fox does to simply control the neutral. Yeah, Watch. it's just a great footsies button. You don't get much damage off of it, of course, but it really controls what the opponent can do, and that's very valuable. When he talks about Aaron Black's play style and how he approaches matchups, it's put out the acid bubble and just look for people to walk towards him to stop the approaches. That's how he loves playing this character. It's not it's not pure offense, pure mix-ups. Mm -hmm. It's a spacing-oriented game. Mm -hmm. Not helping there so far, Samish is on the hunt. Oh, he's in a bad spot. Yeah, I really needed to get that tech. That was super important to stay above the dip. 
Whoa! That was meeting the boots with the butt. Round two, fight. Not a bad way to go out right there if I do say so myself. Acid uh, Puddle is down. And they're after all throwing those down fours. No real oh, downside. Chance. No, and a little late. Safe though, of course. And ready, of course, wanted to keep corner, you gotta think. And that's the unique normal. You saw that little mm. gunshot to the ground. It's, it's actual diagonal input on his down three. Got forward. Wow, Good. very active here is Simid. Out of there. Sonic Fox and not teching while it's back, back throw. So out of the corner, but you gotta do that sometimes. What? Wow, I don't think that was what? intentional Come whatsoever. On. But we take those, ladies and gentlemen. Come no amplify with, there. With the big boot once no again. No amplify there. Sami's ready for the lack of amplification out of Sonic Fox there. That's a mind game going to be played throughout the entirety of the set. Here, hold this stick. A little bit of damage. Wow, he even falls, Fox. What? Oh, my. Not actually. Are you serious? serious? That was absolutely ludicrous. Can we end this right now? What in the world? Oh, my God, from Sameej. What he a jumped, wild end. fluttered, what? but slammed himself into the corner. Blocks forward, 3-2. Flawless blocked it. Punish, victory. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Back to Jackie. That shook Sonic Fox to another character. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him if I'm being honest with you. Okay, well, let's see if this does better for him. That is what happened, of course, last time he played. Fight. Try to anti air jab. Jack was one of the best in the game, but the active frame of the jump kick there to help out some Mij. Both swinging here in the nooch. Favorite Great Sonic job on the guessies right there with the throw tech. And in he comes. Is there a tech? There is! Man, we are high level guessies right now. Pressure. Damage. I know Samij loves to save that crushing blow for late in matches. Almost never in the first round. Always to close things out. Yeah, when it's most valuable. Wow. In the clinch. Right back. Oh, neither one really wanted to take a bet. That was one of the best reversal buttons in this game. That's a nine frame mid yeah. that has such a big hitbox to Extremely it. fast, very easy to follow up on, a lot of damage out of what you do. And that's the round. Round two, fight. On the board here. What's the adjustment from Samish here? Once Sonic Fox has found his way in, and it's been a different game than what we saw with Aaron Black. Wow! Wow, swinging the down two right there. It's just the right decisions right now out of Sonic Fox. A little bit of a stagger. Early jump kick. That's been working. Yeah, two for two now. Catching Sonic Fox trying to anti-air. Might change things up now that he sees that it's working. Mm -hmm. Interruption. Okay. Reverse the situation. Slight approach. Not too much out of it. And every single time, Sumi just varying what he does. He is never being predictable. Sonic Fox, his own staggers, his own harassment. But you know, if she finds the right combo, she's gonna pump out the damage. Oh wow! my goodness! That was pressure for about 20 seconds into a raw fatal blow. That was disgusting. He knew exactly when Samij was gonna try to do something else. Samij like, had been patient. Not there. Oh Too far! My. You don't see that very often. This is it! The round there for Samij. So they both had to use it. Sonic Fox, man, not often to see him whip on that dash punch or anything. It is not your day. There we go, the head nod. Samiz feeling it right there. Both don't have a fatal blow in this final round. It's going to come down to the wire. First blood going to Samiz with the throw. 140 off the board already. A second one. You don't realize how, just how much damage throws do until you see a couple of them add up. I'll say, yeah. Almost half your health gone. There it is. A third one for you. Almost got the whiff punish. Wasn't sure if Fox about to press a button. There's a fourth. Is he about to throw this man to death? Sonic Fox in his own grab. And he's in there. 
looked like a Kept perfect reaction of Sonic Fox, mm -hmm. knowing that the wake up up three moves Katana back. Had the advancing normal. Oh, wait for it. Wait for the breakaway. Didn't even break away. Wow, so there was no breakaway. Damage. There's the breakaway. Safe pressure. Ooh. Can he keep it up? What oh, a neutral jump out of goodness. Samij! What a neutral jump out of Samij! Again, we have a situation in which Sonic Fox, long time considered the best player of Mortal Good Kombat time. and Injustice games in history, is at risk of elimination. And down 2-0. Wait a minute. Uh, Fox is thinking. What are you doing? Fox is what going are you doing? deep up that sleeve. Whatever character it is, he either loses with or he has to win three straight. He's really doing this? Banning it all on Scarlet, who okay. he has personally okay. talked up. Okay. I think it's one of the strongest. Okay. Mass point for Samish. Okay, it's a big change here into Scarlet. First time we're seeing her in the top eight. Much more of a neutral heavy character. Just controls so much space, gets a lot of health back. Yes. Hard to kill, very annoying to get in on. It's all about control with mm -hmm. Scarlet. Yeah, definitely. Jackie was the opposite. Jackie was all about getting in, but now we see Samij is the one who needs to get in. We've already seen him do that in other matches. Yeah, look, look at his set with Dragon. Yeah. Patient enough to get through everything. Got the up the health back here from Sonic. Up three, waking up. Wait, waking up for Samij. Wait a minute. And one big difference is that Scarlet's not going to get as much damage at a time as Jackie did. That being said, he's already gotten almost half, half the health bar back already Dude, yeah. <laughs> on, these, on the enders of these uh, combos. No breakaway for Sonic. He's some decent damage here. Oh, oh. coming up. Wait. Different from earlier. Coming up a bit early, David. He That's wants true. to end it now. That's I think. true, yeah. It is a bit of a different tag. Flawless Buck. He was ready right there. Stand one anti air. Out of it. And that's what won in the last game, that neutral jump on a wake up right there. This time, no. Sonic Fox walking back to where he can feel a little stronger, looking at him from afar. Absolutely frightened right now. Both fatal blows are loaded. Uh, oh, oh what? man, wow. he waited, he waited. Knew exactly what was coming. Sonic Fox taking that round. Beautifully spaced out. I think it's our stand three that just hits absolutely. 4-2. 4-2 on that one. Huge. Big, big old normal. Stay two, I'm at. <laughs> I'm gonna say stay back. Good, I'm back. Strip balls over David. We're in a high pressure situation now. Big dammy, no breakaway. Amplified butt slam. Missing the meaty though, Fox. Not getting the, the, the full commitment on wake up though. Ooh, very smart on that amplification there of the fans. Now a chance to pressure. Again, it's not really wild mixes, but that hasn't been necessary the whole time. The health back oh, and the mix punish. up off of it. I love the way that he's approaching Scarlet. It's very unique than what we saw early in the tournament. A lot of guys make it a far like King Gambler. Mm -hmm. He is all about getting that health back. Well, right now he needs it. Samij is playing a little more patiently, neutral ducking and then blocking, and then the false box will the escape. That's the issue right there for Scarlet. That string is false block. Well, she does have a parry that she can blow you up for trying to false block up two or three, but we didn't see it. And that is the mind game, and he, even looking for it right there. First throw. Oh, the huge crushing blow. Wait a minute. Max, oh is, what in the God. world? Are you kidding me? Active full screen siphon? Are I you mean, a madman? I mean, or are you the greatest of all time? I mean, come on. That was begging for a butt on block. Round one. <laughs> Sonic Fox stay alive. At least one game here is not done yet. Here in top four, loser semifinals. Fighting the hit early, not much of a combo. Just going back to this neutral control, the lick from afar, the blood ball as well. You can see she has all these different projectiles, the crawler, the tongue, a couple of different balls. Oh my goodness, wow. and in this variation, the siphon that he's using not to end combos, but in the neutral, so smart. Big active it's making it work, yeah, yeah. He loves that slow oh, one. beautiful. And ready. You know, but if, when he follows that blood bottle in, and he, you guess we're going to 50-50, it double damages the sweep of the overhead and the blood bubble itself. You need a lot of damage on that mix-up if spaced perfectly. Round Sonic Fox. Fight. Moving on in. 
the jump kick, that early jump kick, but the drop after that. So out of there. And he was ready with down two. Sonic Fox is there. Okay. Well, he has a full health now. Samich playing this game when he needs to come in. He actually didn't believe in that. Very rare to see him have lack of commitment on a jump in. That is not the history of Samich right there. Mm -mm. What? It's okay. Well, whatever awkward, works. Awkward conversion. And the crush. And what a whip punish? I can't believe that I actually did whip punish. Amazing timing right there by Samich, who gets a lot of damage with the crush ender on this combo here. That is knowledge right there. I would not have myself read that I was gonna whip for the raw fatal blow. Sonic Fox is getting savage on us. Wow, this dude is doing siphon in neutral. He's a couple of times done fatal blows to end rounds so far in this match. And his pick actually looks good. Two, two. Sonic Fox switching over to Scarlet for the first time that I've seen this tournament. He's believing right now. Two straight games, one more, putting up a whoa. Easy there, Fox, putting up the guns for us. One game away from making top three. You know Fox this wants, wants so bad. Oh, yeah. It's really the only thing on the Pro, pro Tour that has eluded him. That's right, yeah. And you know you want to start off getting this extra points, the extra bonus uh, money here as well. Of course, Combo Breaker, 15K pot bonus. On top of the 800 entrance. A lot of money on the line. A lot of money on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Just ducking under those fans, even the amplified version. The crawler underneath, Definitely. the tongue as well. Definitely a big downside to Katana zoning. Yeah. Is, that, is that the amplified is not a mid like it was in previous games? Health back rather than the restand. Again. I'm so impressed by that. Takes the breakaway. And not quite a whip punish. So here's a big chance here for Sonic Fox. So Samij out of there. And he was comfortable doing that. He knows Samij has no bar, even two flawless blocks. That's true. Yeah, couldn't have done up two afterwards. Oh, look at that max distance siphon again. Not enough. Coming in. Samij really only needs a big hit with no breakaway of Sonic Fox into a fatal blow to push the closest thing out. Pressuring. But Sonic Fox battling back. Just wants that space. What? Whoa. The threat, the threat. The respect. And and Sonic got Fox, one. two games in a row, around as well. He's at match point with Scarlet. Round two, Not a pick. Uh, if, you, if you were telling me who Sonic Fox going to pick, being down 2-0, if you're right here against Samish, yeah. it would not have been Scarlet. It would not have Surprising been Surprising us all. Goes into the grab first time there. Slow that? ball. Coming no matter what. Very active on that thing too. And does restand trying to jump. In. The grab comes out of Fox. He's once again in control. He's got the range for himself. Amplified version does hit. Here's the damage escape, of course. And right back to controlling things. Sonic Fox trying to jump away. Down three! Finally getting one. He actually failed to get the uh, entire down oh. face earlier in this set. Here we go, tying up the health bar, Samish. Okay, a little delay and it worked, and there's still no breakaway here. But Sonic Fox, once he has had that fatal blow, he's become such a terror. When one will up. he bring it out? Look at Samish, he's trying to block. Oh, out of there! What? Are you kidding me? The siphon! <laughs> what? Into oh. the throw! Sonic Fox is going to take it! Reverse 3 yo over Samish! Are you kidding me? With Scarlet! With Scarlet, with savage reads, savage decision making. He is proving. Buns are a go. Here we go. It's Losers Baraka. finals, ladies and gentlemen. Combo breaker, make some noise. If you want to see Tweety do it from the Midwest, let me hear you. That's all you got for the hometown hero. Dang, that was it. It's all actually right. a different state. Then, oh, if you want to see it's Sonic Midwest. Fox do it, it's let Midwest. me hear you. Already in the corner here is Jackie. And this is the matchup that we saw Ooh. on the winner's side. Sonic Fox, you know, after that loss, immediately took it to the lap. Look for more options. Look for how Tweety plays. 
saw the tape, knew that he would have to go through Tweety in order to win this event. It's very difficult to be confident against the Sonic Fox who you just beat before because, like you said, you know he's done the lab work. You know he's tested it out. So what are the counter adjustments going to be by Tweety? What is he going to do differently that Sonic Fox is not going to see coming? Yeah, well, so far it's a mauling. So far the response is, okay, let's get in. Press a lot of buttons. Can't blame him on that. Okay, a little interruption there with the down three from Baraka. They're trading him. Loving the attempt of the staggers oh, no. by Tweety, just not opening up Sonic Fox at all so far. To start off our losers final to the corner, we go back to two stagger, no dash punch, no mind game behind net. Here we go, stagger with the one one, and he is just looking so strong right now. Again, confidence coming off those two game fives into this set. Super ready right now. Is this the crush? No, but still very close. Ooh, he was patient for just a second, but not for very long. Sonic Fox, like I said, when you've beaten him before and it's time to do it yet again in the same tournament, that is a tough draw. All That's you've a done big is ask. give him information to use against you, David. That is all that you have done at the end of the day. To see him again, and you just saw the anti-air down one of the forward four. Oh my goodness, a full combo. In there. Punishing you for the throw as well. Here it is Sonic. This has been a absolute obliteration. It's been a mauling. Yeah, you think of the Tarkatan as being the one who would maul, but not here. Okay, there it is. The neutral jump into the rest. Will there be a break? Yes. He's not playing that Scar style of just yeah. taking all that damage to the dome. No, he's out of there. Unlike that get me out of here. That get out of jail free card, it seems, against at least one gutted from Baraka. Right. Gotta avoid a few more, but not needing it here. One Osonic Fox up around. Round two, fight. Trying to put up a bit of a wall there with the blade sparks. It's not an option that Jackie has. Baraka does here in this match. Not ready for the grab. Tweety stuck. No anti-air. I mean, that might be a lack of belief right there. We saw how confident he was earlier with the stand ones. Full oh, conversion. It's and the oh, break, how we I got to that make out. Oh, that's tough. That's These tough. aren't supposed to go that way. They're just not. Well, they're back in place. It's okay. Standing back up under his own power. It was a quick rehab, but it worked. Woo! Yeah, that's no longer your turn as Baraka right there. Here's Sonic Fox with a crush. Is there meter to escape? There's not, but oh. there's an error. Trying to end it right there with the down two. You give Tweety a little bit of health with a, with a damn oh, schedule like Baraka. There must be an escape. Yes. Into the corner though. And the reversal, and doesn't matter on the crush or not. We already saw that take place. Sonic Fox has won these two games. I mean, maybe even faster than Tweety won his 2-0 against Sonic Fox yesterday. Absolutely. <laughs> Sonic Fox, how game-changing is a character like Jackie yes. that punishes you for going for throws and getting them teched? I hear you. It is an absolute game-changer game against anyone else. He still would have been alive right there. So here you go, it's the switch. Baraka's done most of the work for him this weekend, but uh, he did say to me that he would go for Gears in some situations, and why not? It's a character he's been playing a lot. It's, it's a very strong character. It's a pretty good character. This is a matchup that I'm a little surprised to see him purposely go into. Versus Jackie here. Yeah, but he's going to try it out because clearly Baraka was not working. It's definitely one that Sonic Fox is confident in. Yeah. And even against Tweeties that we saw at Sonic a couple weeks ago, where he infamously said, Big Nug Gabe, but that was in the mirror. Not the Jackie one here, but he was really confident against Gears with his character on Twitter. Remember, online. Sonic Fox Jackie versus Gears uh, blew up Deoxys 3 0. Yes. And Deoxys Gears was looking like one of the strongest in the world. So here, Tweety tries his own. So far, it's not working. He's caught in the corner. He's already in trouble. Already a crushing blows loaded. Oh, no. Wow. There has been a. So for some no reason. Game. Tweety looks like a deer in headlights when Sonic Fox jumps at him. I think you're right. I think you're right, yeah. I don't know if there's been an anti-air, a true anti-air quite yet. Or even an attempt right now. He's just eating these jump-ins, or they're just incredibly late. Oh, yeah. He's, in, he's definitely in trouble here. Is, Sonic Fox already has it. Is Tweety feeling the pressure? Sonic Fox on match point with a health lead with the corner oh, position. No! Was it too far? And Sonic Fox switches it up. Now his own error comes, but he's right back into the business. And because Tweety has used his defensive bar to escape each time it's come up, he has nothing right now. And one for a while, Sonic Fox is in here. Oh, oh my goodness. Dash punch crushing blow. It's all Sonic Fox, and he's coasting through the blow up. A 
against Tweety, the man who sent him to loser's side. He just inputted the fatality without even looking at the screen, folks. That's somebody who has confidence. Tweety ends up getting third here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and coming up next is grand final Sonic Fox versus Scar. Is this the finals you want to see? That's what I like to hear. All right, now who do you guys like? <laughs> Ask him. <laughs> okay, you got it. Let me know if you want to see Sonic Fox continue oh, the run. Oh my goodness. Wow. Sonic Fox. Flipping him the bird. But let me hear you. If you want to see that kid continue his loser's bracket run, Sonic Fox, do you like him? If instead you want to see Scar complete his winner's run without losing to anybody all weekend, let me hear you now. That was almost even, David. Mm. It's grand finals time. Make some noise. Hey, Auntie. I'll never get used to that. Sorry, old habits. Round one, fight. And here we go, already getting the whip punished. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's Sonic Fox getting things started right, right as he wants it. He wants he wants to drop first blood. Oh, yeah. He wants to put you on edge. He's already got the corner for himself versus Scar. We really didn't see any screen control at all out of Scar. Okay, well at least this comes. Knocked down with grab. And then almost timid and backing off a little bit of Scar. Flawless blocking, nothing else. We saw what was effective last time they played was the offense of Scar, the mix-ups, the damage of Sonya played. He's playing a little bit differently, it seems like, here mm. at Combo Breaker. A lot more relaxed, not just going for the risks. For sure. That Sonya Blade uh, necessarily has for the big damage. Yeah, of course, she has great overhead and low, especially in the corner where both of them lead to almost half of your life. That could have been the start of it right there with the low. Instead, Sonic Fox jumps out. Pick up up three. This is a little different from Scar here. I don't know that we saw many wake-ups from him in the entire run this whole weekend. And yet we've seen two already in one round. Yeah, it seems like just the offense of Sonic Fox Again. has... Oh, yeah. I think that's that's maybe what it is here. Oh. The school ejected! Scar still is somehow alive. I feel like he's gotten blitzed in this round, and yet he what? actually ends up taking it in the beginning of this Grand Finals. We saw two blocked fatal blows and a lack of a punish out of Sonic Fox. Yeah. Fight. Round one going to Scar here. And the anti with the ring. And there's that down three that we saw utilized against Tweety to absolute perfection. Already getting things. Right where he left off. Here's the range. There has been a long break, oh. but still looking like he's warmed up here. Yeah, he looks he looks good now. He looked a little shaky, I thought, at the beginning of the first round, but not right now. He looks good. Wake up. And it's been, again, consistent up three. This time up two. Oh. Oh, he kept it going. Scar didn't look for that. And Scar has the life lead. Oh, he's oh, in there again. In. These are unbreakable tools. Is that it? No, not quite. Two more health. And what? He literally waited. Yeah, that he was waited. so smart. You saw Scar fake it out and almost Same. force Sonic Fox to jump. Fake out and then through the Amplified, covered every possible way. And it seemed like that for Sonic Fox, Round thinking one. that that first normal was the beginning of a ring. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So game one goes to Scar, who's really still being active on his wake up. He rolls into Jackie's clutches now and into the clinch as well. Great damage for her. Moving forward, kick confirmed comes. Will there be a break? There's not, because we saw he was, playing, he was doing the same thing against Tweety Baraka, and he did manage to take that anyway. But versus Jackie, I don't know if that's advisable. Oh, one hit from a flawless victory! Again, it didn't need to be like that. He could have done breakaway. Round two. Mm. No sweat. Sonic Fox threatening at this range. The step kick at any time could be in your face. There it is. So far, game two, an absolute bullying from Sonic Fox, putting oh. Scars back to the wall, and he's looking kind of lost here. Oh my god, you gotta get out of this combo, dude! What are you doing? 
it, is, is it going to be enough too? No. Second to throw. You're right. Just... I mean, it wasn't a second flawless, but it was about as close as it could possibly be. I don't know what the deal was. Scar, just a different mentality with that defensive bar, not utilizing it to break away from the big damage. No, it's trying to use it either in wake up or potentially for some flawless blocks. We don't know. He has been doing it on wake up a lot when he's had the bar, and I get that, but boy, man, at the end, I feel like you gotta get out of that. No, it's a different intention from him, and tied now 1 1. Yeah, that's what he's using it for. Right, this is a good start for Scar as a health lead, and he's not in the corner, which is where he was 100% of the time last game. <laughs> yeah, right. This man was put in jail. <laughs> well, Sonic Fox is trying to get that up again. Building the wall slowly. <clears throat> Just pressuring Scar. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Going down. Here we are over by Deadly Alliance. Shouts to the arcade cabinets in the background. To the corner we go. Jack doing that big damage into the corner. Coming off all the options oh, of lovely. that. Oh, lovely! Anti-air was there, not into big damage, unfortunately, but I like that he had a bit. Now he's got the corner for himself. Complete reversal all 50, of a sudden. 50, 50, fatal blow. Waiting! No! There it is! That's it! That might be it! Let me see those shields. Let me see those skulls. That is 100% death out of Mama Blade and Scar right yeah, now. You're right. You're right. The unnecessary curb stop at the end. Unnecessary? Round two. Fight. I think so. <laughs> Still worried about, it off. I'm still worried about the position right now for Scar. Oh, yeah. Does not have a breakaway. Back is to the wall. Punish. Whoa, here we go. Back into the corner. Oh, immediately Sonic Fox escapes. You see, that's what a lot of this fight has become. It's a fight of position. Beautiful call. Sonic Fox throws his opponent back into the corner. Oh. Here it is. There's no breakaway. It's come back now. But it's not being used. That's when... Now Scar's played the entire set so far. And okay. he's used it for okay. the wake-ups, and they have been effective. If it's not broken, don't fix it. That's all. He did go in. Now, if he finds another hit, he might be able to take the game. Or the, uh, yeah, the game, in fact. <clears throat> yes, he will. He's so patient, and then it hits. He tried. But when he tried, Sonic Fox was there first. Tied up in the rounds. Oh my goodness. Max range dash punch. Spaced perfectly and through the startup of the ring. Again, 12 frames are to time that perfectly. And Sonic Fox really doesn't have to consider about the breakaway mix-up or not. He doesn't have to do anything different in terms of combos. Because he knows at this point Scar's just going to take to the dome literally in that combo. Yeah, working on building that throughout the entire oh, matchup. Oh. Cycling through the options off of that is how you build it. You have to go through all three. Crushing blow is loaded, saving it for the final round. So smart from Sonic. But Scar with Sonya, only a couple of mix-ups away, as always. Scar's definitely still in this. He needs two more combos. One's probably going to be broken. Out of the sky! Sonic Fox closes in, and the grab comes, and it's two to one. I really like what Sonic Fox is doing. He's actually kind of controlling the pace, which is what Scar kind of... Saw early on on his yeah. winner's run, and he made the switch to Scorpion to see if he could control the pace of the match. But I don't think it's going to be the case here, simply because uh, of, of that first round that we saw out of Scar, where he was able to kind of fight the momentum back, fight his way out of the corner. Oh, comes in. Yeah, I don't feel like the, kid, the yeah. character's a problem. That's yeah. not. I don't that's the issue. Absolutely. Here. But you know, when it's worked for Sonic Fox, it's looked pretty bad when he's able to force him to the corner Definitely. and just bully. But that's Jackie, but and that's Sonic Fox using Jackie. It's the opposite of the control that we saw earlier from the zoning style of Cassie. Oh, there it is, anti-air, and this time he actually does get the full conversion. Beautiful stuff from Scar, maybe recovering a bit. Because he wants to be up in your face equally as much as, as you do. Right? Well, in this matchup, she does have rings, and that's not something that Jackie has, so I like that there is a bit of zoning, but yeah, of course, she plays crazy mix-ups and gripping stick. Big damage are close. He's seeing a little bit of it. Whoa! Whoa. No discipline. Sonic Fox probably thought he was going to get a whiff punish on that with some active frames hitting him right in Overhead. the mouth. No breakaway from Sonic. We're going to the corner. That sweet chin music. Whoa, beautiful spacing out of Scar. Keeping it light. The hit. Didn't expect the jump to hit. Here he is. And he's keeping it unbreakable notice. Still there. Still. Wait a minute. Even Chip. Even Chip. And it is enough. 
Scar evens it up two to two. Equally as dominating as Sonic Fox's last game against him and is now on tournament point. Again, there's the prophecy of Sonic Fox having never won Mortal Kombat at Combo Breaker. He's trying to make it happen, but Scar, if he wins one more game, we'll take it. Light ring zoning, anti-air is there. He didn't even want to see anything. Ooh. Scary stuff there, saw that he wasn't gonna get, gonna get the whip punish on the throw. Changed up to an empty jump three. Such quick switch up by Scar there, mid neutral jump. Look at that spacing. To get somebody like Sonic Fox to whiff dash punch, I think is so impressive. Sonic Fox with the combo. He knows there's not gonna be a breakaway. Pretty confident of that at this point. And that's exactly why. So he has the wake up. Yep, exactly. Awkwardness right there, splitting on uh, the opposite side of Jackie. So ready for it, nice break of the throw. Looking for the mix about the elbow. No, just goes with the stagger instead. Keeping things relatively safe so far is Scar in the pressure. Scar's got the life lead. He's just gonna stick with the rings here, this mid-range stuff. But that's Scar's turn, and he does take a little bit of an advantage. Not too overly strong. Chip, is, again, at this stage, pretty important. Ooh! Sonic Fox, unfortunately, this means the opponent's far away. Oh and my Scar goodness. was just neutral, ducking its match point now. Tournament point for Scar. Crowd's getting into it right now. Sonic Fox, it is, oh my Didn't goodness. He hadn't been doing the amplified version. Ready. Back near the corner, not quite there. Can he get it? Flinch as a punish, funky idea, loading up. Yep, loading up that crushing blow as best he can. Luckily, that well, was able oh to cover that God, he's so ready for it. Sonic Fox is there. What a swing. What's it going to be here? On the knockdown, he's come out crushing blow. No, still keeping it built. Saving it for the final round. Beautiful anti air conversion. Another wake up for Scar. What he's using that defensive bar for. It blowing Out of there. The he keeps it up. That is a high. But big damage on deck for Scar, who does have a fatal blow locked oh, yeah. and loaded. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness! If he That's finds the right combo right now, One, he can 50, steal it. 50 from death right now. If he finds the right combo, and Sonic Fox knows it, so Sonic Fox now is playing a little slower of a game. He dashed forward. Oh, he got the grab, Scar. So close, so close. Sonic Fox got two heavy 